it's this. People say, what's the solution, Alex? We want a silver bullet. We want a magic thing that we can do that will change everything overnight. Okay, look in the mirror and realize you're the solution to the problem and get up off your butt and don't imagine some perfect solution. Little things together move mountains. Many hands make light work. And, and the public is finally listening. They're finally realizing they've been lied to. And so now the people are more receptive to the truth than ever. And so a lot of you that woke people up 10, 20 years ago but quit because people, some folks weren't listening, redouble your efforts now. Get Terror Storm, Endgame, my films, make copies of them. Every video and book order we have at InfoWars.com, you get a free pocket constitution. We have them at cost, the little pocket constitutions, the Bill of Rights Constitution, famous quotes, Declaration of Independence, powerful stuff in there for those that still read. But bottom line, the will to fight, the will to think, the will to resist, this enemy is very unpopular. If we just stand up, they will fall. If not, they're going to win, and that's going to be hell on earth. We'll be right back. Bob, I just wanted to briefly get your take on taking action. Um, going back just a few What's going on? Well, I, no, I, I wanted to. Well, you're pointing at I something. Want, no, I, no, I just wanted to expand on what the caller just said about knowing your Constitution and how important it is. Well, you know, if you don't know what your rights are, how can you defend them, right? That's that's basic. But here, your classic example. And the government this, can't say those rights are gone. If it does that, it's criminal. It's engaged in terror. And, and when people can see it, here's a classic example. Now, you're, people people that don't like the Constitution are going to think I'm all wet. But if you go read Article One, Section Seven, for example, which most people don't know what that is, it says very plainly that when it comes to generating revenue, only the House of Representatives can generate a revenue bill. That's what it says. It's it's very simple to read. It says only the House of Representatives can generate a revenue bill. Now, the Senate can tack on to it, but the House has to generate it. Well, what happened in the bailout? The House rejected it. There was nothing for the Senate to discuss. But what they do? They take the bill over to the Senate. They load pork all over it, another $150 billion worth of revenue generation stuff. And then they sent it back to the House, and then... And it was a bill that didn't pass the House. That didn't pass the House. It was illegal. Right. It was illegal. So the Senate... Martial law. What I'm saying is the Senate... Martial law is when the regular rules and laws are suspended. The Senate generated revenue bills. That's what the $150 billion worth of extra pork was, generated in the Senate. If you read the Constitution, you'll know that it's totally illegal. And that's what we're talking about. You need to know what your rights are in order to defend them. Okay. Um, solutions. If all of us individually get involved and do little things, i.e. the most important, you have to wake the public up first to the new world order, then they can make real decisions and understand the real price to be paid and, and the enemy we're up against. But if they still think the two parties matter and still believe any part of this paradigm, you know, the public now doesn't trust the media or trust uh, the mainstream media or the government, but they don't have any idea just how bad it is. And then one day I, I was sitting at home and I, I was watching cable access TV for some strange reason and up pops this nut nutcase punk, some punk, about 23, 24 years, 24 years old, named Alex Jones. I didn't know who the heck he was. He was sitting there ranting and raving about the United Nations taking over the national park system. And I was like, this guy's a nut. But I love his delivery style, so I'm going to listen to him. So I listened <laughs> to him, and I thought, okay, this guy's, a, you know, this guy's, you know, he needs to be taken off to the bunny farm. And then, then he changed the subject, started talking about the Second Amendment, and I said, oh, I got to hear this. I got to hear this guy. And so then this Alex Jones character started to succinctly, precisely, accurately, historically uh, describe the the purpose, the history of everything in the Second Amendment perfectly. And I was going, okay, wait a minute. I, this, this, this set up cognitive dissonance in my feeble brain, and I'm going, how could he be an idiot about this UN thing taking over the national parks and be so 100% right on the Second Amendment? So I got off of my chair went to my computer and started researching what he, what you, Alex Jones, said about the United Nations Biodiversity Treaty. And, and you, and you found out Park. Congress had tried to block it, that the, the Kentucky out, legislature... Right. I found out that the Kentucky State Legislature had passed a resolution the previous year explaining it, condemning it, saying that there was two of these areas in Kentucky that, that the U.N. was trying to take over, and they didn't want foreign minions in control of Kentucky land. And this was a land... This was a earth-shattering event for me because I was staring at my computer screen and I was saying... Everything that nut told me about 
was right. And I'm mad because I didn't know about it. I keep up. I read the papers. I, 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 I follow current events. And so this opened that little crack of light into my, into my brain, and then all of a sudden everything started to grow. And by the time I actually met you, it was so funny, your, your guy that ran your audio board for you at KJFK on Saturdays worked for me turned out. I was saying, who's this Alex Jones This KJFK character? was like 200 yards from your hardware store. Yeah, it's just right down the street. And I was like, do you know this Alex Jones guy? And he says, yeah. I said, why do you know him? Well, I run the audio board for his Saturday show on KJFK. I said, you got to be kidding. And he said, no. I said, well, this, is that guy for real? And he said, well, he thinks he is. <laughs> you know. And so I said, bring him in here. I want to meet him. And so a few days later, he came in there with you in tow into my store and we went back into my office. I was in there to sell you on a sponsorship. Yeah, I don't know what you were trying to do, but you, that didn't happen at that time. We didn't even talk about a sponsorship. I'd been doing research myself at that time, and I found out that the, in my son's senior level high school uh, government book, they were teaching him that the Second Amendment doesn't exist, that it doesn't mean what it says. And I showed that to you, and you said, you might have a bar of this. You know, I said, here, go right ahead. <laughs> and then uh, the next day, you were on the radio with it, reading it and blasting it and and correcting it and I was thinking no it said contrary to popular belief the second amendment is only for an armed government militia the national guard and army no one is allowed to own guns and and, and then I went on air and pointed out well we didn't get the national guard till 1906 absolutely so, so my point is that when you did that and I was listening to your radio show at the time I, a little another little light came into my dense brain that said media power wow this is interesting I find out something, I give it to Alex Jones, boom, it goes all over the city. And now here it is 10 years later, it's going all over the world. Well, from, and actually, that's that awesome. station went from Dallas all the way to San Antonio. Yeah. So it, it was, you know, I was like, hey, this is pretty cool. So, you know, you and I have had this very good relationship over the last But then you went years. and got an access show. Yeah, uh, the next year I stumbled into an access show. It's called, it's called The Simple Truth. And, uh, you know, we just finished our ninth year, and we're trying to get back on the air again for our tenth year. We're having you know, uh, paperwork problems. But we'll be back. And, and historically, it's been 6 o'clock here on in, on Channel 10, you know, on Time Warner Cable. And I mean, we've also got, a, and, we also got a website and, now. And then you started writing for The New American, which yeah. raises millions. Yeah, I, start, I wrote a couple of articles for The New American, and, and my, uh, this, my producer of my show, Kelly Taylor, she is the official writer for The New American on the Trans-Texas Corridor and After Superhighway issue. Several articles out. And so, you know, uh, we have we've done all kinds. We, last year, we were the ones that blew the cover off TxDOT's uh, scheme to toll the interstates. I mean, that was us. And when in the and again, we're, we're now close to defeating that because you took action to ferret it out. So, so there you go, folks. Pick your issue. Fight the New World Order. You can take action. The United States is under complete attack, and I can't even sleep right now. I'm just paying such close attention, listening to all four hours of your show every single day, doing all the research and just trying to find solutions like you're saying. Uh, in contrast to that last caller, I think it's not true. I think really what, what I'm noticing right now is people are asking me what I've been telling them for years. They're like, Haven't, what you told me is true. It's coming true. Things are happening like you said, and I'm finding that people are so open to the information right now, it's like, this is the time. Exactly, and so many people in the uh, reality movement, the awakening movement, the liberty movement, the history movement, people that study history, a lot of us have bad attitudes. Nobody cares, nothing we can do, it's all over. Meanwhile, it, it's the greatest awakening ever. We need to maximize everything right now. The Internet may not be here soon in its current form. They're openly trying to get rid of it. We need to exactly. use it while we've got it. And watching, watching Riddles and Stone last night and just realizing what, that these people have a true plan for what they're trying to do to us, and they are working 24 hours a day against us. we got to wake up and work 24 hours a day against them and send out mass emails to everybody. Everyone needs to watch the free videos. and just I've got one that I spent six hours making last night just to make it really nice and beautiful that people will look at it hopefully and click on articles where mainstream media is saying that Paulson is a dictator, that we are giving over all of our power to the banks, and that the Federal Reserve is private. People are finally realizing it in mainstream By America. the way, we ended up getting that video clip from last week. A caller called in with the audio where they call in one of the heads of the World Bank and say the Federal Reserve is private, and the guy goes, no, it's not. It's federal. Oops. Just don't do anything stupid. Don't give them, a pre don't give them an excuse. Stay away from crowds. 
Unless you're out trying to wake people up. Well, I'm talking about you know the violent crowds. You know, I'm talking about during martial law. Yeah, you don't be doing that because then you're going to be you're going to be a sound cannon fodder. Mm -hmm. What's going to happen right. is they're going to turn these sound cannons on, and somebody's going to end up pulling out a rifle, and and, and that sound cannon's going to go down real fast. Which is, and, and then the war starts, and I, I don't want that, Bob. But Absolutely I think you're going to end up. I, I think hell's going to blow up. And a whole bunch of civil disobedience uh, on the part of the police and on the part of the military, just kind of go through the motions and don't do what they tell you, because that's patriotism. You think that's going to happen? I think it's going to happen. A lot of the police, a lot of the military, are going to say. I'm not going to participate in this garbage because I got kids, I got grandkids, and I got a, I want a future for America. Fine, Bob Daisy, thanks for coming in. Thank you very much, Alex. I appreciate it. Keep up the good work. Give out man. your website. SimpleTruthOnline.net. 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 And if you live in Austin, Texas, you can see reruns of a show in the live show. Uh, checking, um, you can check the uh, TV guide, other information, and it's there once a week.